going to be rushing straight in towards this B side as they're starting on the T side and Avi on the CT. Yeah, they have a decent stack here as well already. A fourth player rotating in, but Rez is going to be the one getting the opener. Flamey straight through the smoke has been able to return. Electronic is just going to be sticking around close to the majority of these players, giving them the man advantage and a fadeaway tap onto one more giving this even further in their control. It is done. Simple, and now he's got his AWP in hand. He throws down the smoke to disable that Molotov. Has support from Electronic, but he's going to go down without any response. And in fact, Simple's going to be tagged within inches of his life as well. So noise in towards T-Spawn. The thing is, they do have a guy in Palace. Like, Knock is there. Oh, now they're going to know he's there. He's like, wait, what? And will eventually able to clean it up to return the frag back onto him. So just trading a one for one. You know, a Perfecto back towards Ticket. Yeah, he has support as well. That's where Na'Vi have somewhat gambled. In fact, you've even got Perfecto watching just in case somebody tries to wrap around through the mid position. Nice work from Flamey. Turns it into a three versus three. Simple now going to be pressured, but he connects his shot as well. Twist now starting to doubt the idea of going in that direction, but with the rotation taking time, Nork is going to have to do a good job of holding off any players wrapping around, and unfortunately, Perfecto's already in from behind. He does manage to kill off Flamey, but he can't stop. There's nothing he can do here. The spray down doesn't actually get the kill. In fact, Nork turns around, but Simples hit the shot instead. It's Nork having to spin back to try and help out his teammate, and Simple takes the play and gets the kill. Again, though, the CT side, a minute left, and they only have a few flashbangs and a smoke. They really are using a lot of utility early on. However, the T's aren't really challenging them all that much in the latter portions of the round. We've seen some fairly simplistic cleanups, these individual battles which are just handing frags away. The bomb dropped onto short and electronic in a crossfire with Flamey looking to tag team anybody that looks to make that cross. And while Simple adding one more to the body pile, this is looking done already. Just one man left Lecro. He at least gets a parting gift of a kill. But so far, this has been a little bit too clean coming out from Na'Vi. Can Lecro at least do some damage? I don't think he can win this round. NIP, of course, a new roster. Not necessarily the most experienced a lot of the time as well like they've gone for younger talent sure they've been around for a while but i wasn't actually expecting boomers to do something like that considering like more of the passive plays they've been doing has been netting them this currently they do have perfecto well it looks like he will get the rotation in from simple to come help him out flaming in the meantime does get one the push gonna come in perfecto is gonna have to hold strong here and he only has the m4 to do it but the Maltos burn them down look how low they're getting on hp before they even get out of apartments here simple trying to get in the rotate he's gonna be there to support as well and nip have yet to come out finally get one or two players through but perfecto gets the first not able to get the second but simple still here oh plopski able to pick off simple jason's not too happy about that one he curses the man who was 14 in zero and they finally manage to put him down. They get the bomb down with literal seconds to spare. I don't think Twist was realizing that he was open to that spot, but Plopsky's just going ham. A triple kill for him already, leaving Flamey alone in a one versus three. Either way now, with the first round, can they build this into a second? Sim Flamey back. Looking like he's going to go for a further peek. He's got to be careful. I don't know if he knows the Lecro is this close around the corner, but he finds the kill anyway. He's been a menace on short, but finally gets put down. Perfecto is still here, however. Already killing off Plopsky and able to make his way back to the site. Twist with a decent angle, though. He knows that Perfecto really can't go too far. Actually, he's going to drop down. Not going to be hurt. He gets the tag on Perfecto. A nice loan by himself. And Navi will eventually overwhelm him and take their eighth round now. Four, you've got Boomage up there as well. There's nothing they can really do. This time, they've gained a lot of ground, but Electronic is still going to get that opening pick. Again, it's Plopsky to fight back. He ends up with two, and now Simple looks to chime in on his own. The T's have done a good job of at least getting the site control. They don't have any utility to really hold on to this, though. They need to get that bomb down, which they will be able to do. The smoke will hold out two of the remaining players. In fact, three around this spot. Flashbang going to come in, and Plopsky, he's got his third of the round. Like This man is trying to drag them through this, but they finally put him down. Rez will now pounce, and he can clean up the round. Oh, Flamey's going to spot out one towards short, though. Perfecto gets the first kill now. Just trying to play survival here. Flamey gets himself a second. The push is still going to be coming in, but Perfecto has not been spotted out. He's doing such a good job 
playing around these smokes. Simple rotating back in towards Kitchen. They're still trying to find out the player on the site, and they still have yet to find him. Simple's there, gets a kill. Rez now trying to deal with Simple, who's going to be in the Kitchen position. He'll take him down, gets around behind Plop, or not Plopsky, sorry, Perfecto. And Rez, we talked about Plopsky popping off. Rez gets himself a quad kill, but he's got one more player to find, and will he expect Boomage from coming in from Apartment? 16 HP for Rez. Last kill for the ace and for the round. He's going to be checking, checking this direction now. Jumps up. I don't think he actually spotted him, but it doesn't matter now because Boomich is going to peek. Boomich will get the kill. Save the round here for Navi, but that came down to being way too close. Unfortunately, they haven't all been converted into rounds, and they've been able to cling on. Push through the smoke, though. That's going to be Boomich down early on Rez again, but it's simple with a triple straight back, evening things up. His teammate's going to be able to rotate around Rez already. Tag relatively low, but it's Plopsky once again. Another double into this site, leaving Perfecto alone. Plopsky even falling back into the connector to force a headshot angle. And even going to be holding the cross, you'd think. But he'll actually get in onto Rez. Even still, though, he's taken a hell of a lot of damage. Smoke going to be going down around the bomb. The question is, can he actually get this defusal off? He's going to try and tap it. Bait it. Plopsky goes for the peak and finds it as well. 4 HP. Plopsky, or sorry, Plopsky down. Perfecto with the clutch. Can you change your name so you don't both begin with P? I think I just got a migraine from trying to understand that because the flops get oh. perfecto there it's simple again oh my god doesn't look like him yeah it, it you know it seems to go that way in counter-strike more often than not a twist able to respond though able to get the kill onto boomishu again this is like the second round i think he's been punished actually even like third round he's been punished trying to get aggressive over towards a ramp prior it has actually none of them around uh win for an ip but again simple second headshot of the round with awp electron looking to push in they're both not looking for him and he gets the first and the second as well simple setting them up perfectly and electronic knocking them down and navi will get the 13 to 2 scoreline at the end of the first half we're yet to really see much at all like sure there was some decent plays coming out from Plopsky. We had one decent play coming out of Rez, but that's not the start they were looking for. Nork is already gone. Plopsky at the back of the site has to basically do everything. He does manage a pick at least, but in the meantime, the bomb has gone down. Now, the T side haven't been able to take too much control, but they've been able to get a decent plant and electronic. He cuts off their rotation. Now they have the opening to defend that bomb. This is basically perfect for Na'Vi in terms of a retake scenario. They do have a smoke and a kit, so maybe they can hope for that miracle play of all the Glock shots missing. But they need to clear out some of these players before they can go for that, and it's just not happening. Another kill comes in. The smoke doesn't drop in time as well. Twist just has to try and get towards that bomb <laughs> and just look at Boomage. He's just going to be knifing around it at this point, just making sure there's nothing they can do. Crow is getting itchy feet moving his way in this direction. Simple is the only man around the connector and just wrecks one. Lecro puts him down before it gets too embarrassing for the side. And actually, Plopsky is able to find one with the scout. This is looking a little bit worrying. In fact, as the bomb is yet to go down, they're running out of time and the Deegs do the work. That is always going to be the case when... I, I think they basically put out that this is one of the like best tournaments ever in terms of the amount of players they have from the top rankings or the top best teams talent team is working on it as well sure let's go with that <laughs> boomage he's going to be able to get the opener with the deeg twist will go down they're looking like they're actually going to switch back to the a site there's only one player actually with any vision in that direction plopsky trying to stop them actually getting there and lecro is going to be able to pick off one player in towards the amps but i think that was perfecto mainly just trying to hold players there as they do look to swarm towards this A site. Nork waiting for a little bit of support and the shots coming from short. There's not really too much they could do about that, but they are going to clear one. In fact, push in to try and clear CT completely. It would have given them a safer plant and actually Flamey is going to hit another shot. He as well stepping up when needed. Leaves Rez and Lecro. They've at least retrieved some rifles to fight this one back with. Do they know that Simple's in the corner? I don't think he does. This could be a free kill for one of the world's best players. Rez, unlikely to know, and even the turnaround, the second shot is just disgusting from Simple. Twist watching for that position. He had one of the best performances in the game yesterday and currently on three kills. Like it's not been a good play for the majority of the players, but even still, that is slightly ludicrous. Plopsky trying to do more work with the scout again. Another tag. Three players now low. There's possibilities. In fact, two Deegs come in at the same time. Flamey look to try and trade this out, and that's exactly what he does. Leaving it all onto Lecro to try and help them survive in this map. A one versus three, and it is not going to happen. A 4K for Flamey to finish. 
absolute domination on Mirage, and Na'Vi looking unstoppable in this map. So Twist, Nork, there needs to be a step up if they're going to have a chance. And already, Nork is gone within the first couple of seconds. Boomage is going to pick off Rez as well. Twist trying to hold on, but this is just further bombardment as they wipe down this A site like there was no one there to begin with. Lecro again with a passing kill as he looks to just leave this round as there's still four more Na'Vi players to catch. And that girl, I mean, no kid at the moment. Does have a kid near the bomb. They even double up on B in the early rounds, maybe expecting some of the SMGs to still be standing for Na'Vi. So hoping that they would go for a blast play in towards this site. But for now, they are going to do it. They do have full rifles. I am honestly surprised Lecro did not fall from that, actually, on the in-betweens of the bomb site. In fact, it's going to fall as well as Lecro just seems to be picking them off left and right. Simple, though, able to respond finally to help claw things back in. Potentially Navi's favor if you can find another. And that was, I think, through the smoke, if I'm not mistaken, onto uh, Flamey. So a little bit of a rough time here for Navi to make this hit work. But Ooh. Simple is still alive and Simple hit shots. We all know that. But Lecker will finally shut him down with his triple. And it looks like NIP will be to get their first round on the board here. Uh, you feel a bit bad for them that they weren't able to take that one over the line. But them versus Mad Lions, a close affair. But unfortunately, that means we have lost another team in this tournament. And while at the end of this map, or maybe the end of the next one, we will be losing another team. Oh my gosh, the timing, but Boomish can't get the kill. Actually, I'm sorry, he does get the kill, but he dies from another angle. Look, Chonk's able to avenge him, though. Simple gets one on Therese, and this round, I mean, we're 30 seconds in, and NIP's down to just two players. It's Nock and Lekker. Lekker pushing through the smoke. They're not going to expect this, but the problem is, I don't think he's going to stop the bomb from being planted, as the Molotov will buy a little bit of extra seconds. Flamey comes back in. His opportunity to pick up a kill or two spots up Perfecto, but they know exactly where he's going to be now. And Flamey looking to wrap around the corner, but Lecker expects it. He predicts it. He gets the kill. He needs some backup from Nock, though, who has the AWP. He has to worry about Electronic holding that angle towards Ivy. And the time is taken away here, Tom. Yeah, they do need to get a move on Nork's, the one with the kit as well. And he's got a fair few players to bypass. He expects... How does he miss that shot? Well, luckily gets the second. But Perfecto is just waiting. And he doesn't even get the kill. Simple's like, yoink. That one's My mine. <laughs> nope. I thought he was actually going to catch someone out. But Twist gets the better of him. So a big kill coming through out of NIP to get the man advantage early on. Out there, he will hear the footsteps left a little bit blind. Peeks into the angle, but finds the kill nonetheless. <laughs> Gives that two-man advantage. But in the meantime, once again, they're making moves in the other direction. However, it's Lacro to defend. He has the support of Nork. They can afford to double up now that they have such an advantage. And Perfecto, well, he now has another opportunity to pull off a clutch. But this is one I don't really believe in. A much better round coming up from the Ninjas. Decent opening picks. Perfecto does get a kill, but he takes a decent amount of damage in return and makes the likelihood of doing too much more fairly slim. I always wonder if it would have been worth holding on to the gun. Watch with AWP. I was, before, I was wondering if he did fall. The people pushed up in middle would be very susceptible to being flanked from the back side. They're actually going to push through the smoke here. Boomish going to trade one for one. Will they expect Rez to be here on top of the train, though? Yeah, Nork. Picking off a... No, the fours! Oh, that's gone as badly as it could have done. Any confidence that Rez has gained has quickly gone back out the window. That is unfortunate. And now... Still with a man advantage at least. Lecro, he's rotated in. They have the full force of the ninjas on this side of the map. Actually, there's not much time. Simple on electronic. The one-two punch, trying to get back into the side, but it's only going to be simple, and even he can't snap to Lecro there. Five to five, a streak of rounds coming up for the ninjas in pajamas. This is the first time we're seeing the double up set up for NIP, but they've had their success mostly without it. I do get a little bit worried for them if this switch up will actually work out their favor, but so far it hasn't. Plopsy has gone down, but no weapon recovered just yet. Be on top of the train, so that spot is basically null and void now. They know that that's clear, which was somewhere that Rez was actually playing in the previous round. Instead, he's right back towards Stopper. Now, this is exactly how you should be playing against the pistols, because most of the time it's the close range battles that are an issue, but if Flamey could do stuff like that, it doesn't matter. Rez is gone once again. As said, it's not been the best game for him, but there's nothing he could do about that one. Nork also missing a couple of shots. They're going to boost up Lecro, and he might be the man to try and fix things for them here. The thing is, though, these T players can now just sit in passive positions. They don't need to fight versus the CTs. Flamey, he's got himself another kill. He has been fantastic in this map so far. 
dragging them through this round. Nice fadeaway shot from Lecro. We'll at least give them a chance in this 2v4, but I think the time has ticked just too far. I think they need to be thinking about saving some of these weapons instead. Their finances not in the best state as of right now. And Twist, with that secondary up, just has to try and save it. Boomage, he has nothing to lose. And in fact, won't even face his opposition as he goes down. And well, this is going to be the one thing that they at least get to keep. But where did those shots come from, Flamey? That was just ridiculous. They might round the corner directly into Pops. His hands are right. He's throwing a smoke and he's not going to expect it. Red's able to get a one hand, a second, and redeem himself from before. Picks up the AK and he might have a chance to get more as they're looking. Potentially push the smoke yet again. Rez is just holding this very tough angle for them to clear. Molotov comes in. Oh, I was flashbacks to device right there. A little bit different with the bomb, but he's hitting some nutty shots this event, isn't he? Yeah, this is looking like a plausible round now. Rez going to get dunked with the nade. Simple. What did he just get? Did he kill him through the corner of the wall? Like, what do you even do if you're res in this scenario anymore? He's just getting owned by things that shouldn't be happening. Nork, though, Lecro and Twist all come up at once. He's down to 12 HP before he even witnesses anybody on the other side. Res starting to come back into this, which considering, as said, how bad things had gone initially, how tilted he could have got, he seems to be doing fine. Plopski waiting. Rez in a decent position. He's going to pick off another flamey already low, but two come back and Rez actually goes down. Nork now left on the site. He has support from Twist, but he can only really hold one or two angles and Perfecto just domes Nork, leaving Lecro to rotate in. There is, however, the fact that two players on the other side are low, but one of them who isn't is simple. Anox now rotating away towards the back towards the inner side. The hits coming towards outers. You can see the smokes being thrown in the Molotovs flashes as well. Here comes Navi on the attack. What a shot out of Electronic. Yeah, I don't think it mattered what gun twist had there. He's going down, Nork. However, we'll keep things even for now. Looking for the peak, but Simple's just too quick for him. Lecro said he's been their best player so far, but even he can't survive much longer. Popsky left to try and fight this back, and it is just not going to be happening. A 9-6 half in favor of Na'Vi on the T side. The Na'Vi's up 1-0 in the series, and up 9-6 at the end of the first half of Train when they were playing on the T side. But now moving over to CT side, things are going to be picked up. The speed's going to be increased as we now see NIP trying to rush in towards this B-box side, and it's going to be a two-for-two two trade in the end of things. The bomb should be planted here momentarily. And now it's going to be Na'Vi back on the attack here, looking to go for the retake. Yeah, can NIP finally get themselves a pistol around? It hasn't been possible so far within this series. Every single one going the way of Na'Vi. They're in the best position we've seen them in so far. A retake being forced upon Na'Vi. Trade coming in initially. Flamey going to be getting nice and close to that bomb. Just going to try and bait them out by tapping it. Lecro already getting the kill. And now Flamey left alone. But he's got a chance to find Lecro, who's desperately low on HP. The only thing now is I don't know if he has the time to actually get the defusal falling all the way back just to try and take the fight versus Twist. And the ninjas finally have themselves a pistol round. Smoke going to be thrown out. And he has one of his own. He can at least delay them for a bit. They've thrown out a fair amount of utility. Flamey hoping to find something through the smoke with a FAMAS, but nothing going to be coming his way just yet. And with all those nades being thrown into the site, almost has to be the push, but there is Perfecto. Electronic chimes in with another as well. Perfecto with three in a round where all he had was a CZ. He didn't even use his smoke in the end. Maybe I jumped the gun a little bit, by the way, saying the real test is going to come into the buy round and potentially the double <laughs> up at a Navi. Maybe the real test is coming into the force up at a Navi because that worked out flawlessly for them. No deaths, four kills for Perfecto, and she is the only utility they have is a couple of flashbangs. A scout onto Simple, not going to be ideal, but he can just look to hit them up, and Perfecto at range is already going to pick off one, but Rez, that is not bad. Two quick deeds back, looking for a little bit more, given the chance to spam away. He's hit the remaining two very low indeed, but it's left all onto Lecro. A bullet per player would do the trick. There's the first, not quite the second, though, maybe not expecting Flamey to be that close. He has a kit, so he'll be able to run around and get himself the defusal. Holding so close. So good. Two kills coming through. Eventually will fall. Boomish again with the SMG. Gets another kill. Puts into a three on two as both players are going to be locked in towards T-Main and still going to maintain that spot as well. They know that Sipple's going to be here with the AWP. They have to contend with I think that's Flamey over towards Ivy. So was going to miss that shot. A little bit uncharacteristic. Nox going to get a second as well on low HP. What a shot out of him. That's his third of the round. Careful here. 
that bomb plant position is going to be completely open. It's more down to his teammate to actually try and cover him off, and that's not going to be the case. This will be a very easy kill for Perfecto. The only issue is he has absolutely no idea where Lecro is going to be. It could be anywhere on the map, likely to be towards Pop, just because of the bomb plant, but the face comes out. He snaps over and he gets in as well. It's not clean. It's not pretty, but it's enough for Perfecto. Simple now even going to be sent up to join him, maybe expecting a switch in strategy instead. Twist this time is able to catch Electronic. Also, Lecro just executes Boomage, but Flamey again. He's going to chime in with a double. Surely Plopsky should have his number here. In fact, the whole squad going to be rotating into Flamey. He has no idea that they're sneaking their way through Ivy. Perfecto oh. with a fantastic nade over the top. He's going to be padding that utility damage, but not his stats this time as Nork has come alive over the last few rounds, really moving up that scoreboard. Oh, the inner bomb site. Now Flamey, he's got a deagle. He's got the smoke as well to help buy some time. 28 seconds left. They're going to have to push the smoke, and they've done that. Boomage able to get his first with the AK. Flamey still looking for his opportunity to get one. You can see Nox low on HP. Time is taken away. The Molotov as well buys a lot of time. As well as Flamey getting a double kill. Not able to get the third, though, unfortunately. His twist shuts him down. But with 13 seconds left, can NIP even get into the bomb site to plant? Boomage is there, and Twist is able to clean him up. But they've fallen. Navi on the soft buy. Get their 15th round on the board. I don't know if they're going to check this straight away if they do just plan to go into the site. Now, utility not at the highest amount. That's why we're seeing this push into the B site. It'll be a little bit easier. They didn't expect Perfecto to be here, however, and now they're in real trouble, but they take him down. An important kill nonetheless. Utility and Spray doing a lot of damage onto the remaining players. Simple. He wants these kills, but he'll be caught for it. Plopsky keeping this dream alive, but a nice shot from Flamey once again. He's going to open up into the site. The wraparound also looking to come in from Boomage. This flank could be an issue. Twist. Going to be sat here holding, needs this kill, and it's all on to Nork, and he can't quite keep them in the tournament. It is going to be Na'Vi going marching on to meet either Vitality or FaZe for another stacked matchup.